Now we've seen how you can find sounds by searching for them based on some criteria. But you can also audition sounds quickly in context, and this is the purpose of Quick Browse. After loading a kit, press the Browse button on the machine controller. I'll work with the kick and snares we've already chosen, plus a few other sounds that I've also added. Now while in Browse mode, hit one of the paths. The right display will show all the other sounds adjacent to that one within the same category. For example, when I hit the pad which contains this tom sound, it automatically brings up all the other toms of that type in the right display. Now, pressing buttons 5 and 6, which are labeled previous and next, allows me to addition all similar toms. Now, this goes well beyond the 128 sounds available to you in other groove boxes. You have the entire machine factory library at your fingertips. For example, there are over 700 kick drums alone available to you at any given time. So when you're happy with a given sound, I'll take that one, just press browse again. Using this method, you can swap out any sound in any existing kit quite quickly. Okay, now that you know how to categorize and find a sample, let's create a group. Groups are simply collections of several sounds, up to 16 per group. The kit we've been working with so far represents only a portion of the total sounds available to us. Usually a group will consist of multiple sounds that together form one entire drum kit. You can have a total of eight different groups at any given time, selectable by pressing the corresponding group button on the machine hardware. I could easily add more sounds to the current group by browsing for them as we've seen already. Or, if at any given time you'd like to create a new group, simply press one of the unlit group buttons on the controller and begin adding sounds to it. Keep in mind that a hefty portion of machine's library consists of groups in the form of drum kits, almost 300 of them.